What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Let me tell y'all, man, one of the, one of the most um, disappointing things in the world is when you look at a person in a situation that you viewed as being somebody that was like, yeah, wow, that's a person I look up to, I idolize, or, or however, however you want to lay it out. And um, don't like to use the word idolize. And then you find out later that that person is not who you thought they was, or that person is not really for you or for us. And it's a great, great disappointment that comes along with that. And as a saying that goes that expectation is the mother of disappointment. That's really not a saying, I just made that up. But there is a saying that's connected to expectation and disappointment. And people will say, well, man, look, man, if you never place expectations on people, then you'll never be disappointed. Well, I ain't one to kind of buy all the way into that. I just feel like you should be selective with who you place your expectations on and in. Because everybody's not worthy of just you giving them that kind of energy from you. So what we see now in our community is we see a lot of people, man, who have always been viewed as heroes, always have been viewed as, as uh, people to look up to and, and role models or whatever label you want to put on. And once we start to see a lot of the social controversy jumping off, then an invisible line forms. And there are individuals who step on this side of that invisible line and there are individuals who step on the other side of that invisible line. And what disappoints a lot of us is when we step on the side of the line that we believe and know and feel to be the right side of it and then you look to your right or to your left thinking that you're going to see somebody that you think you're going to see standing shoulder to shoulder with you and you look up and they on the other side of that line. And you like, whoa, wait a minute, what you doing over there? You in the wrong side, you need to come. And they like, nah, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. So a great disappointment comes with that because um, I can remember a long time ago and I, and I ain't gonna go deep into the story, but um, I was talking about how I was being treated, well, how we as black people were being treated um, in the music industry. And this back in the 90s. And I was just talking about that with another brother. He was an older brother. And I was saying, hey, man, yeah, man, it's just crazy, man. These cats out here doing all this stuff to us. And nah, 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 they ain't got no respect for black people. And nah, 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 nah. You know, and his reply was, oh, I see where you're going with this. In so many words, he kind of pulled back from the conversation because I guess he felt like I was going to a place that he didn't necessarily agree with the premise of where I was getting ready to go. And I, I detected it. And I just fell back. I just kind of like, okay, you know what? I see that we not on the same page about this. And I was kind of shocked because we were on the same page about a lot of stuff, which draws me to the point, just because y'all both may like chocolate cake, y'all both may be Houston Rockets fans, y'all both may be um, have Afros, that doesn't mean when it get down to the to the nitty gritty, when it gets down to the real um, issues that are plaguing us as a community and as a people, don't mean that y'all are gonna see eye to eye. And you have to come in the door knowing that. And that is the thing that you have to come into the door expecting. You have to expect the unexpected. You have to expect and anticipate the possibility that everybody is not going to think 
and feel the same way you think. And you, you also have to take it in in a way to say, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, it's 8 billion people on the planet. What kind of world would it be? You know, I, I guess it would you know, it would be a, it'd be a better world if we didn't have to deal with a lot of a lot of the um, sellouts and a lot of the people who who really like to cape for white supremacy, who really like to cape for uh, oppressive entities. Um, yeah, it would be a better place now that I think about it. But that's just not the reality. That's not the world that we live in. So the wise way to move is to just stand on what you stand on and come in with the anticipation that I'm going to, I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to say how I feel, but I, I come in with the anticipation and expectation of the possibility of pushback and resistance on something that I say. And that pushback and that resistance may come from a surprising source. It may come from somebody that you didn't see it coming from. So that's the world we live in. And when that happens, we feel that disappointment. You say, well, man, I just, you tell people, I, I just can't look at him the same no more. I just don't see her the same no more, man. I, I never knew. I never knew. But on the same token, I tell people all the time, it's a blessing to find out. It's always a blessing to find out where you stand with people and where people stand. Because the reality of it is that sometimes there are people that you still are, are cool with. Even when you find out their politics, you know, even when you find out what side of the coin they land on in certain things. Now, certain things that, you know, I'm speaking just for myself, it's going to be a deal breaker in terms of my affiliation with you on deeper levels if I find out there are certain things that are like, ah, I can't, nah, that's, we're too far apart. I can't rock with you no more. I didn't know that you felt like that, you know, but the reality is every day we all deal with people who may be of a different religion than us, but y'all cool. Uh, y'all may be on different sides of the political coin, but y'all cool. Um, whatever. Just certain things is the deal, are the deal breakers. But we got to stop looking at these mainstream cats and no matter what they did no matter what they have accomplished even if what they accomplished was um, served as an insp inspiration to you at some point in your life man you just take that little piece of inspiration and you move on in, in the right direction because you can get that from somebody because it may be something that it's not big in the grand scheme, you know. But those ideologies, those principles, those things that influence that can be instilled on the masses, that's a dangerous thing, man. And when you show that you ain't for us, I can't look at you the same no more. I got to move around. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. If I forgot something, y'all put it in the comments, man, and I'll catch y'all a little bit late on, man. Much love. Go subscribe to the Underground Dialogue Podcast. Y'all go do that right now. That's me. All right, peace.